All right, uh, first of all, you can tell me uh, what happened here and where we are. Uh, yeah, so uh, right around 8.30 uh, this evening, the Joplin Police Department Emergency Communications Center uh, received a 911 report of gunshots here in the area of uh, 18th and Annie Baxter. Mm -hmm. uh, officers responded here to 1731 South Annie Baxter. Uh, there were two individuals that uh, had gunshot wound injuries. Uh, we had uh, officers that, and EMS crews that arrived and rendered aid, and uh, those individuals were transported to a local hospital and uh, uh, currently uh, conducting a shooting investigation. Uh, were those uh, male individuals, both of them? I, I believe so. Uh, what kind of injuries were they? Uh, uh, gunshot wound injuries. Uh, like more than one? Uh, I don't know an exact total. Okay, all right. Time. A neighbor said they heard three gunshots. Uh, I can say there was a report of multiple gunshots and I can confirm that we do have uh, two individuals that did have injuries from gunshot wound, uh, gunshot wound injuries uh, here on the scene. Uh, currently, uh, they're listed in uh, serious but stable condition. Oh, okay. Um, and we have investigators from the Joplin Police Department. They're out here on scene uh, conducting investigation, trying to identify uh, suspects, individuals involved in the, in the incident. Do you have anyone detained currently? Uh, we don't have anybody uh, detained related to this incident as of right now. Okay. What, I know not far from here, we heard a lot of sirens, and it seemed like everybody ran off about it maybe 45 minutes, an hour ago. Well, what's happening on 20th Street right now? Um, so the, there are officers out there that uh, are at a house uh, trying to determine if it is involved related to this incident. Uh, they do have a, a home that uh, they set a perimeter around and are just taking extra precaution uh, to make sure, see if there's any individuals that, uh, that may be inside uh, or may be involved with this case. Has SWAT been called out? Uh, yes, yes. Oh, they have. Okay, yes. okay. I was aware of that. So. Uh, those two individuals that were shot, do they live here at this address? Uh, I don't know if they're residents to, to this address. I, I don't have that information. But did it happen inside the residence or outside the residence, or do you know? Uh, so I believe that both. I believe that uh, an incident took place inside and also outside the residence. Are these people that you guys have dealt with before, maybe, you know, uh, frequent, uh, someone you might recognize uh, the victims in this? Uh, I don't have that information in correlation to any previous, uh, you know, involvements, uh, but that will be one of the things that investigators look at uh, as they continue on with their investigation. Mm -hmm. This house, it looks like it's under remodel maybe? I don't know, I can't tell. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, down the street right now, are, are, do you know if someone is inside uh, the house that, that you're looking at? That, that's what they're trying to determine. Uh, the, the officers there on scene, they want to be as safe as possible and uh, you know, so they're just taking extra precaution and, and going to utilize the Joplin SWAT team and uh, the tactics and tools that they have to come out and try to safely clear the residence and make sure nobody's inside. Uh, you know, as they as they go about their investigation. And do you have that address? Uh, um, I don't. I, it's like 20th and Porter okay. uh, here in Joplin. Actually. Yeah. So okay. Okay. That's it. No. You're good. All right. Thank hey, you. Right. When, Thank when you. do you think we'll hear an update? We have more um, information tonight, uh, or should we wait till tomorrow? I would say that tomorrow the the Joplin Police Department will probably put out a, an official press release regarding the incident. So hopefully we'll have uh, given a little bit of time for the investigation to develop. Uh, we'll get some more information. Uh, hopefully, you know, suspect description that we can put out to the public uh, and give as much information as we can. Uh, I know er time. earlier we had people wanting to show us video. Should people send that video to you guys? Yeah, absolutely. If anybody has any information uh, of individuals that were involved in this incident, we ask you to please contact the Joplin Police Department, 417-623-3131. Uh, we have investigators who would love to talk to them uh, regarding this incident. And what I, this is kind of a silly question, but should everyone be concerned, lock their houses tonight? Yeah, I, I think it's uh, isolated to, to this address. Um, uh, and so uh, I, I don't think there's a, a major concern. You know, we are looking for individuals that are involved in this, uh, this incident. And, and again, once we get the suspect description locked down, that we'll get that information out to the public and uh, try to get them identified and go from there. Right okay. All right, thank you, Captain. Yep, thank Appreciate you. it. I'll grab that mic from you. Thanks. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> yeah, I think so. Is there a second that's important uh, that's walked off? Um, I would say probably like I'm Shannon Becker, KOEM News Now. Uh, just talking with Captain William Davis. You can see here behind us, they're actually taking down this crime scene tape, some of it. Uh, unknown if uh, they're through in this area or not. But as Captain Davis told us, it's about 20th and Porter. They're right now doing a SWAT operation, a contained and call out, possibly related to here, maybe not. Uh, could not confirm that necessarily. Uh, we'll update more information if you tap your screen and click that bit link there. 
uh, in our article, KOEM News Now. So this is 1731 Annie Baxter uh, is the location where we are here, where we have been. Uh, we shared video earlier in the 10 o'clock news. Uh, you'll see some more of that probably. And then uh, 20th and Porter in that area uh, will be the other part of town. Uh, what we do know, two people transported to an area hospital, serious but stable condition. Uh, this is a historic home here, a Levi Riesling home, uh, built in 1887, I believe. A familiar residence to some. It's on the northeast corner of 18th and Annie Baxter.